Thank God. What? <laughs> Make what? that the intro. The literal second I started the podcast, she said, Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking way. Okay. Hello and welcome, everybody, Close. to episode, what is this, six of the podcast? Yep. Six. This is episode. God damn, it's already episode six. Anyway, uh, welcome to episode 6. As you guys can tell, we have our little famous Discord kitten, Alyssa, back in the podcast with us. Oh, I wish I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfy. Uh, as well as, as well yeah, as. Yeah, never again, please. <laughs> what we were just talking about, I don't know. Um... As you well like as shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! As well as our good friend Kelly, who was in the last episode and hopefully is in a lot more to come. Um, for hola. starters, for start, hola, yes. Uh, hola, for... Um, egg roll. Don't it's not a key. What? I don't know. <laughs> Where are here? <laughs> Where is that are what it means? Here? Yeah. <laughs> I heard that phrase like in a YouTube video and I keep on repeating it in my head. Stop. It's like where is here? Like where where am I? Where are we? I was trying to sound where? cultured, guys. Where are you? Mission accomplished. Yeah. yeah. Not Bam, far man. off. <laughs> uh speaking of cultured let's talk italian here ladies and gentlemen the first topic of the day that i have set up that me and Alyssa are very excited about is eminem opening a new restaurant yes, called mom's spaghetti homie let's get Mom's that spaghetti. shit Dude, so yes, from what i, I understand i saw that i immediately <laughs> like sent it to alan i was like we gotta go to michigan <laughs> It's a weird Michigan. place for him to open it, yeah. It's like a weird... I think that's a weird place for him to open it. Like, is, is he, like, from Michigan? I think that might be where he's from. Yeah, he's from Detroit. Oh, I didn't know that. How do you guys not know this? What? It's I'm like... not an Eminem fan. Oh. I'm an Eminem I fan. I guess that makes a bit more sense. But that's disappointing, Miles. <laughs> well, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> fan girl over a dude who wears the same clothes every single day, but it always looks good. You kind of do that. fan girl for Eminem though. I like Eminem a lot, but I don't like him as much as Alyssa. I don't think I can claim yeah, to like him as no much as Alyssa. Um, I'm obsessed. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so to put that lightly, um, so the restaurant. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's not really like a restaurant. It's more so like a like a window spaghetti service. Like you kind of like walk oh, up, place your order, really? then you walk over, and then you just grab like it from boy? the pickup. No, 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 through. no. It so no. So it's at the corner. It's on the side of. Uh, it's on a sidewalk. It's not like it doesn't have like a drive through or something like that. <sighs> it's on like a sidewalk, and it's like the corner of a building. And they put the spaghetti in, like, these little, like, um, you know, like, the Chinese, like, fried rice little, like, containers that they give you on the to-go boxes? Or, like, mm -hmm. the cute little mm -hmm. things with, like, the wire. Oh, handle. like the, yeah. Yeah, so it kind of looks like that. And I think that's super interesting to me. <laughs> But, it sounds yeah, like a cool. Disneyland kiosk or something. It isn't yeah, kind of. It kind of is actually. It kind of is, and I can't imagine it's super expensive. I doubt Mamba would want it to be expensive. You know what I'm saying? It's nine dollars for spaghetti. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for spaghetti with like meatballs. The fuck? Fourteen for vegan meatballs. Oh yeah, fuck the vegans. Three bucks for a soda and three bucks for water. That's kind of bullshit for that. Three bucks for what water? Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah. he doing? That's kind of horse shit. That's not good. 
Honestly, that's I feel like those prices are pretty fucking high. Twelve that... bucks for spaghetti with meatballs. And... That comes in like a little to-go box. Like, come on. Yeah, that's kind of. It's a Disneyland weird. kiosk. Yeah, it's it's like a Disneyland kiosk. I don't know who runs it, but <laughs> he reminded me of like Hannibal or some shit. <laughs> he, he remi- like I, I think the dude who like actually like runs the place seems like funny to me. I don't know. I'm still gonna go, even though it's uh, overpriced a little bit. Yeah, you have to do it once, I think. For the novelty, you know? Yeah, I wonder how many people... Like, I wonder how long until, like, it, like, goes away. You know, that actually reminds me. Mr. Beast, when he opened his restaurant, I honestly thought that was just gonna be, like... Like, for, like, a week, and then it'd be closed. Really? But I but Wait, I guess they're, really? like, all they're still, still operational. Yeah, they're all still operational. Does like, there's actually... Money away as napkins? No, I wish. <laughs> That's the toilet paper. God, I wish. <laughs> Imagine like needing like twenty bucks or some shit like that, and just like getting food and still getting money. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fucking cool. It's the Happy Meal toy. She's a Happy Meal toy. Here's a <laughs> wad of cash. <laughs> Buy yourself or a VR headset. An actual physical Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i mean i think it's actually i mean everyone says that it's it tastes like really good too so that's that's a good that's a good plus on that but i, I feel genuinely like it's weird thought timing that was like, for him to do that though it's weird timing for mr beast to do anything like he does shit at oh, the same time he's doing the, other shit i was talking about the eminem one Oh well, yeah. No, that actually really, really yeah. is out of the blue. Yeah, I was gonna say song was like fucking... to do anything. Yeah, isn't actually, he like, like Rihanna? What? Like Rihanna has mm. been gone for like forever. Like she's yeah. might be missing. Like Eminem, like yeah. I mean, Eminem will like poke his head in every now. And well, then. he did like. Well, he comedy. just like, did a song like, you know, right now because Venom Two came out. Uh. Well, I saw Venom too. He didn't even do the song for it. It was some lady. Um. Oh yeah, it's a uh, Skylar Gray, Eminem, and uh, two other rappers, I believe. Oh. Eminem does a me. lot of music with Skylar Gray. And his his verse is also at the end of the song. Oh, I didn't stay long enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair hmm. enough. That's weird. Oh. So is no, I- his. Is spaghetti stand gonna be like permanent? I think I, it is. I kind of feel like it's. I don't think it's gonna last super super long, especially with those prices. But I think the plan is um, to. No, it's keep an M M&M and M place. I think people are gonna be willing to pay the money. Yeah. Plus, like, how reality. many uh, quick uh, spaghetti places do you think are open? Right. Now? See, this is what I was thinking. I was like. So, I was like, if that was here in the valley, I would. I would do it. Yeah. Arrive. You're like, you're like, hmm. I kind of want some fucking spaghetti right now. Yeah, some mom spaghetti would slap right about now. <laughs> uh, what was what was I gonna say? The um. Oh fuck! I totally just blanked. The. Sp- it- what if they added like the spaghetti tacos from iCarly, like the, oh. as like a secret menu item? Mm-hmm. Collaboration. Yeah, we got a spaghetti taco. A spaghetti what? Oh, motherfucker! This is a spaghetti place. <laughs> Snap back to reality. I can't stop saying that. <laughs> this is that's in my for you page a lot it's these days. Slaps. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. So, moving towards another rapper that actually dissed Eminem as well and got his Did shit rocked. Oh. oh, Machine Gun Kelly? Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, I don't know we a whole lot that, about man. this. Yeah, we hate that motherfucker. I don't know a whole lot about this situation. Janelle actually told me like a little snippet of it, pretty much. But, uh, right. basically, he wanted Slipknot to... Uh, be the like do the uh actual music portion for his uh next song or whatever and they right. declined and he like went on this whole like i think he went on like a, on a, like a twitter rampage like uh 
against like rock itself like metal the the genre of metal itself being bullshit and uh apparently anytime he's gone to a show now like people metalheads have like bought in tickets just to boo him off stage it's <laughs> oh, so funny it's so funny yeah. That's yeah. yeah, that's so fucking Teddy. <laughs> oh, you don't fuck with them, dude. They're like, oh, give me a fucking reason to hate you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. What would a Machine Gun Kelly concert even be like? Not good. Oh my god, that would be hell, I'm sure. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. I already know it. I... But him and Megan Fox kind of keep together. He's dating Megan Fox? Yeah, they were yeah, at the... Uh, they've been where, together for uh, what a the while. Fuck? Yeah, what was that event that just happened? Not the, was it the Grammys? Grammys? Yeah, there was um, him and Megan Fox together, and then there was some other couple that looked really good together that they were hanging out with. I don't I'm gonna know. punch a dog really quick. You guys continue. Huh? <laughs> what? 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 Is that I dinner? Need to go, I, I need to go punch a dog. You guys just continue <laughs> your conversation. Is that... Is that a sex thing? No, I think <laughs> he needs to end the literal dog. You slam him against the wall. <laughs> it's all called Peter. So, so is like... he still dating Megan Fox? I think so. I think it, was, it was only like a couple weeks ago that the pictures of them were out. Probably been over a month now, honk. I'm back. Uh, I... I... <laughs> I don't know. That's a weird one to me. That uh, that one really feels out of nowhere. Like, Megan Fox is definitely like Rihanna. Like, you don't hear shit about her anymore. I well, she actually she was, was just in... Um... They were at the VMAs. No, September she was just in a 12th. really good, like, scary thriller movie that I watched. It's, um... Really? What's it called? Um, till death, I think. I think it might be till death. Have you ever heard of Gerald's game? Yes. Yeah, you so it's Gerald? similar to that. You were into it? Uh, the movie? Yeah. I haven't seen Gerald's game, but I know it's like similar. Mm. Yeah, it's called Till Death, and oh my god, she's so fucking hot in it. She, I think her prime was trying Yeah, her, like, her so husband and fucking, they go to, like, some anniversary getaway at their cabin, super secluded, and then he, they spend the night, and in the morning, when they wake up, he's handcuffed to her, and then he shoots himself in the head. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wait, is and this then, the Netflix movie, or yeah, is this, like, a... I think it's a Netflix, um... No, it's not a Netflix movie. It's just a regular movie. That I think I know what you're nuts. talking about. Like, I think, I think like Stephen King um, wrote it. Gerald's wrote Game it. is the Stephen King one. Wait, am I going to talk about the right one? Till Death is the Megan Fox one. Gerald's Game is the Stephen King. Oh. Uh, okay. They're like, they're similar-ish. But, I don't know. It's really good. And yeah, it was it's like new too, so I don't think she's completely blacklisted. I heard like after Transformers, like she was done. We loved her in Transformers. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, like I, I think, think I think her prime was Transformers. Her. Really? Kinda. I always I always was told like she just wanted too much out of her like kind of small part in the in Transformers. That like, was not a small fucking money. part. What? She was like the the new girl that was hot as shit that ended up dating the nerd because he fell on her tits. It's like out of an anime or something, dude. She wasn't dude. the new girl, first of all. Yeah, she was. She was a new girl. No. Sam said, yeah, we've been in the same school together since first grade. I don't remember that. I swear, I thought she was new. Nope. But, um, yeah, I, I heard, like, um, she would, like, ask the director... For, like, acting tips and shit, and be like, oh, how do you want me to do this, this, this? And he would okay. just say, oh, just just be sexy, just do this, be sexy, or whatever. Pull your tits out. Any... Literally. <laughs> yeah, they just give me more ass. ass. Yeah. Well, I guess that's, like, the director of Transformers. Who directs... Is that Michael Bay? Michael, Michael Bay, Bay, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Michael Bay's kind of a cock when it just... 
He only yeah. sexualized. Was he the director, the only the director or just like the special effects director? I think it was, I think director, he was the actual director. Yeah. Michael Bay he directed. Them, like, yeah, he treats movies. every single. Yeah, he treats every single woman in in all his movies as just this meat, pretty much. Like fucking. I was actually watching. Sorry. In uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm pretty sure he did that too. Uh, that was such a interesting movie. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Kelly? Well, I was watching a video because I was curious on what happened to her. Because Jeremy and I saw the third one, and she wasn't in that. It was replaced by some other the blonde chick, you know? Yeah. And that was actually reserved for Megan Fox, but they ended up just firing her after that. And it, uh, there was a commentary on how the third, the third girl, the blonde one, was compared to a car. And it's like, oh, yeah, like, she's beautiful. It's kind of commentary showing how, like, all these girls are easily replaced. Megan Fox is easily replaced. You can just find some other hot girl to fill in their shoes. Yeah, it didn't so. take them long to do that. They just replaced her with some other blonde chick, which I can't believe after, like, knowing how Megan Fox, like, left the scene of Transformers, she even said yes to it, honestly. Hmm. I guess she was just like, oh, I'm gonna be in a movie. Let's do it. I don't fucking care if you sexualize me. Shit. I guess okay. so, yeah. <laughs> but if she wanted a bigger role, fucking give it to her. Like, she's been doing all this shit for you. You know, like, might as well. What else has Megan Fox been in? I think she was in a movie um, with Stefan Amell, was she not? Uh, there's uh, this one movie spot. called uh, Jennifer's Body. Jennifer's that Body. Really like. yeah. Yeah, that's I don't like, like it all that much. Right. One. I think it's just weird. I think, um... What was the what was the one that was oh well yeah, I was I was gonna move past um that interest I didn't even know that was a couple but that's actually like a good uh segue but um did you guys know that Elon Musk and his wife actually just separated yeah yeah his, what is his, their his age gap I I, I like saw that. a picture of her for the first time ever and they look like not a couple you'd expect right. <laughs> That's what I say every single time I saw them. I it just made no sense to me. And yeah, like, and like she's very uh progressive and like um, yeah. inclusive, and like he was not. Um, uh, I think he like, posted or tweeted something like um. Pronouns are stupid, and she replied like, "Oh, I know you didn't mean that. Please delete this and let's talk about this." <laughs> oh, I think she just said yeah. this isn't you or yeah, this, this isn't, isn't what's you. in your heart. Yeah. Why are they duking it out in the comments on Twitter? Right. Like, why? Twitter Twitter Why should are you guys sitting here? on the same Like bed celebrity right? relationships are just for publicity. That's probably yeah, staged. It's probably a little bit Was staged. She is celebrity? Yeah, she does music. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. she yeah. And she has like, like a pretty obscure said... style and everything. Yeah, she has like a very uh, gothic She's aesthetic. Like or... Alt, no, definitely more gothic than alt. Alt is like a subtle goth to me. Goth is like, goth is like, uh, like striped striped shirts with like baggy torn up shirts and on top of that, and like the chains mm. and a million bracelets. That's what she looked like all the time, and that's why. Seeing her with Elon Musk, I was like, bro, what in the fuck happened here? <laughs> like, I felt like Elon, like, paid for her or something. Like, it never Jeez. added up to me. <laughs> uh, people thought the they bag. were cute, though. Uh, yeah, I mean... everyone, uh, they kept on saying Elon Chan or <laughs> some shit like that. Yeah, they, like, um, they had matching profile pictures on Twitter, Yeah, I think. And they were, like, anime things. Yeah. Well, shit, I, I heard that they separated, and my and my manager was just like, oh no, what's going to happen to Microsoft 3.5? <laughs> they're, they're fucking kid. <laughs> what's going to happen to God. Adobe Flash? <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid with that name. I think yeah. they just call him X, right? Yeah, oh, I think it's Grimes? Just X. Yeah, Grimes. His wife was Grimes? Yeah. yeah. No fucking way. She's a weirdo. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's, a, she's a total fucking freak. Yeah. You sounded all excited, and you're like, she was a fucking freak. She was, a, yeah. Because I thought I you were, like curious. knew her because you were like a fan or something. Right. <laughs> you're just well, like... she appeared in Cyberpunk as a character, so I was like, okay, who's this character? Really? And, I, I didn't and there was like a bunch of like, like Stan accounts on YouTube being like, she's the weirdest girl ever, and she's talking about like her going through a mental breakdown like nothing and doing a bunch of weird stuff. That is weird. But, um, um, hey, hold on, hold on. Sidebar: I found the pictures from the VMAs. Is what the event was of Megan Fox and MGK. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, Alyssa I'm said that. I'm yeah, I screen. told you it was the VMAs. You said the Grammys. I no, said, she the, said VMAs. the VMAs. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I found the pictures of them, and it was with Kourtney Kardashian. Oh. Yeah. Look at it, fucking. Where did the one picture go? This From my perspective, I just see like, why can I not see this? What in the fuck is going on there? Yeah, I have no idea who this guy that Courtney's <laughs> dating is. What in she the looks f- uncomfortable. Fuck? I don't know. Why does Megan Fox look like she just took a shower in the dress? She's literally so fucking. She's basically naked, bro, and her hair is so She's wet and long. Oh my god! Look. Yeah, she took a dip. Pretty hot. Just took a, just took a fucking. Um, there's this game. one picture of them together. They're both shitting or whatever <laughs> in the urinals. Oh my god. Right, right. Yeah, not pissing. They're shitting in the urinal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's where that goes. That was fucking. <laughs> oh, look yeah. up the the black tongue I mean, one was... with Machine Gun Kelly. He looks like he's dying. Megan is consuming his soul. Is that how you spell song? Yeah. Change. What the fuck? Ew. Did he Gun tattoo hot. it? No, it just looks like mascara, I think. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, I had to leave like twice there. now because of the fucking dogs. Um. Yeah, no, that's fucking weird. That looks like a pussy. That is 100% modeled <laughs> after a pussy. <laughs> I don't know what that is or why that's here, but okay. Uh, how long have they been together? Huh. Mm. Damn. Damn indeed. I had no idea. Um... His nails, though. Oh, wow. Dragon claws. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, shit. This guy is uh, so weird. MGK is like <laughs> it's one of the weirdest people. Yeah, so do you remember? Shit. Black so, tongue, these nails, what the fuck? On the fucking, uh, that one, when he did diss Eminem, like, I remember watching his side of it, and I'm just like, it made no sense to me, like, it didn't even sound like a diss. I don't even, I, like, I, I swear he didn't even say Eminem's name once, but apparently, I don't know. And, like, the song itself just made absolutely no fucking sense to me. You know, it really sucked. He just it kept really saying sucked. your beard's weird <laughs> and, like, the same... Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, let's talk yeah. about it, yeah. And then, like, he was, like, eating, like, cereal or something shirtless in, like, a GTA fucking Matrix-tinted music video. It made no fucking sense. I don't know. I was I was really I don't know. Guy's weird. Mm-hmm. Super fucking weird. Uh, I really don't like pinning on that guy. Like I'm not too, I'm not very knowledgeable on any of the Machine Gun Kelly stuff. Well, you don't need to be. Scene. He's he's very irrelevant, honestly. He's only relevant when he pisses someone off, and then he's a podcast he's topic. <laughs> Um, uh, Alyssa, would you like to take the topic that you added? Um, oh, yeah, that one was about this, it was like three days ago, this, um, 25-year-old guy in Houston, Texas, he went to the old high school that he, um, 
graduated from and he was going to shoot a different teacher but um the principal like got in front of him when he uh first got there and um the principal actually didn't get that injured uh luckily it was just like a bullet hit his back from the shotgun oh, yeah. not that bad like, lightly well i mean it's a bullet wound like, regardless like one but pellet. like you said like one pellet um, yeah like something like that but um he was able to help uh, the teachers and students like go under the lockdown procedure. So I'm not entirely sure if the shooter just like was too surprised and like stopped, but the police got him on campus. <laughs> oh, wow. So like, did anyone die? No, no one died. That was very successful God. then. Good, good principal. Yeah. yeah. I don't mean to be this guy, but what's up with Houston, dude? I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, it was just like he had issues with a teacher and wanted to do something about it. Hmm. Imagine carrying beef oh, for that Oh, but long, the, the TikTok that I had sent um, in the Discord was the students being escorted out of the school. And um, they had to walk through the the blood and like everything that happened instead of escorting the students through like one of the many other exits because you know I'm sure they have to have. If there is like blood well, and so if there's blood and shit, does that mean like so people were definitely shot, or was yeah, it just the, there's the no way it wasn't was... just the principal. All was it only the, the principal? Or... Yeah, all the information that's been given it said that it was just the principal shot. Hmm. So that was the principal's blood the on the floor. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of blood for a little bullet if they're walking over yeah. there. Okay. Well, it didn't show the wound. I don't know how big it was. But as long as the article alive. also made it seem like he was going to make like really good recovery because it wasn't awful. Bad. It was from a shotgun? Yeah. He must have, like, tried to do, like, a warning shot or something. And, like, shot I, just to, like, the right of him or some shit like that. And, I like, think he shot the, the the window to get in, and that one of those bullets went through. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Weird. Damn, that's, that's a... I mean, I, like I said, I don't mean to be that guy, but what the fuck? Like, I feel like all these shits happen in Houston, do they not? Right? Or like Austin, I think there was something. I think there. Texas in general, like what the fuck? They go hard in Texas. They go fucking hard as shit in Texas. Like we go hard on Earth. <laughs> we go hard really? on Earth. Mm. I have a funny story branching from this though. Mm. So um, my friend Chaz at work, my shooting buddy, he told me that his grandpa and his friend, um, when they were kids. They had um, a tw uh, 12-gauge shotgun, and, like, you know how when buckshot, it's just a bunch of small pellets? Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So they would stand, like, super, super far from each other and shoot each other. Oh. Because, like, <laughs> at, like, at a certain distance, like... It the just little dies off, and it's like using airsoft, yeah, yeah. It would just be, like, being hit by airsoft, yeah. So they would they would do that all the time, like, for fun. And I think that's the funniest goddamn thing. And they would shoot the house, too, and his mom would get mad at him for it, because she would just all of a sudden hear all these pellets hitting the house. The hell? I just think it's really she funny. Like, hey, bro, me. wanna go shoot each other? Yeah, fuck I'm yeah, bro. <laughs> damn. Kinda that's wanna try crazy. It. <laughs> Fuck off, <laughs> off with that, we're not doing that shit. Come on. Oh my gosh. Um, Hector, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? The topic. Um, the... you want to get into it now? I fucking guess. I can't find a segue between a school shooting and anything else, so... <laughs> Go for it. I could, you could segue the school shooting into Squid Game. That's got death. Oh, yeah, it's got fuck, guns. dude. Yeah. That is fuck. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, woo, Squid Game. Let's go, Kelly. Give us your honest opinions. Let's hear it. All right. Well, it, since it got a bunch of hype, I was like, you know what? Why not? Uh, I got some time to watch it, and I watched it, and I really enjoyed it. It made me tear up twice, um, just because how you feel a lot for the characters. They're really well developed, and you're rooting for them, but they met their end, and you're like, fucking, like, God, this sucks. Um, but I'm glad it's getting all this recognition because it's really well uh, produced and uh, well acted. So did you watch it in uh, Korean or in English? No, I didn't really want to read it, so I ended up just watching it the dub. Oh. And I heard that was the bad. It was uh, pretty bad. Yeah, I heard it's dubbed really so. bad. In some parts, yeah. But they just it's, sound it's like anime voice actors. Live action. Was it? It's hard to dub live action, you know, because like you can actually see the mouth movements, but with anime, like all all they do is like open their mouths. And you can't really yeah. make out words from an animation. Yeah. Sometimes there's like an extra animation, and like you don't even see like what they like. There's an extra animation for something they're not even saying. I don't know. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's how it is in the live action one. I heard because they kind of have to write out a script, and, like kind of fill out what they're trying to say in a yeah. certain amount of time they have. Um, someone on TikTok had said that they know Korean, and you could like were able to tell the differences between um, the translations that they provided, and they said that like some of the character development is just like completely different in the actual translation versus what Netflix produced, you know? Really? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, you'll be watching watch a whole different show. Subbed. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I mean, so what is, what are your, yeah, sorry, is, have you, Hector, and have you, Alyssa, seen that? No, I haven't. I'm thinking about it, though. Right? Game? Yeah, I've watched it. You have watched it also? Read yeah. it. Read it out of ten. Rate it out of ten. Yeah, out of ten. Out of ten. Um, I'd give it like a six. Six? Yeah. yeah. Eight. I'd give it I an eight. Oh, I didn't love it that much. I was on the edge of my seat, and I, it's like, I can't say that for a lot of media that I watch. Like, mm, I right. was like sitting on the floor. I'm like, oh, make it. Because mm. there's this one game called Honeycomb, right? And mm-hmm. so they're all put into this room, and they have to pick out a shape. And whatever shape they got, they have to cut out with a, uh, a needle. What you call it? A needle. And you have to cut out. You have to keep scraping it. And if you break off a piece, you get shot in the head. And they're oh. all in this little room. Yeah, um, I know. I saw parts from that game, and like I saw one where they're like running to a line and a red light, green light. I guess, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's the, the only one. Well I mean I saw honeycomb, but I've also seen the memes of honeycomb. And I've been seeing that <laughs> fucking that giant doll on yeah, that's, red light, green light, yeah. that's red light green light, yeah. Oh. I I've just been seeing the fucking the honeycomb memes where it's like the thick um Omni Man. Uh Omni Man. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh. You guys are on some weird side of fucking yeah. meme culture. I get it all from Instagram, really. Mm. So we're all the shit siphons into. But it was really suspenseful because they were like figuring out like what's the best shape to pick. And obviously it was triangle, circle, or square, or umbrella. The main character chose umbrella. And he wasn't able to fucking, like, scrape it out on time, so he ended up just licking the back of the fucking honeycomb to kind of expose it and to crack off the pieces for it. Wait, hmm. what? Licking I'm so it. confused. Like, what are they carving? Uh, it's the little like trays a, of, like, uh, sugar. Like, melted yeah. sugar. It's melted sugar and, like, some baking soda to make hmm. it puff up a little bit. And, and then they stamp a shape it. in it um, mm-hmm. while, before it cools completely. And then they give it to you when it's cooled and it has that shape. And you're trying to cut the shape out like completely without breaking it. 
That's hmm. weird. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, no. I genuinely don't okay. think I'm gonna watch it. And there's like a time frame to finish mm -hmm. the uh, games in. Like mm -hmm. ten minutes. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't think I can watch it. I heard like it's only nine episodes, but they're all like fifty minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like watching like I don't know, seven, six or seven movies. Yeah, I, I genuinely it's like a lot like, of time. I just blanked on if I even said this. I to me, I saw the red light, green light, and I'm like, oh, so this is just. And I found out that the plot is like, oh, all these people are in debt or whatever. And I was like, oh, so it's just Hunger Games for people who are in debt. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Like I'm not. I, I don't get like, why you're like talking down on it by saying that. Like, like Hunger, Hunger Games, Games is, is Hunger Games was very overhyped as well. Like it's Fuck no, there's Hunger a whole Games genre. There's a whole genre of like best selling book movies that were not that great. Like fucking. Uh, I think you just have poor taste. You literally only watch <laughs> anime and superhero stuff. I watch other actually... stuff. I've, I've, watched, no, I've watched some other stuff. Yes. No, you don't. Made up. Oh, porn. I, I, oh, porn. Exactly. <laughs> thank porn you. Thank count. you. Gee, thank you, Kelly. See, he gets it. <laughs> no, if, I, I, if you're I have touching watched your little movies. cheese curd while you're watching it, it doesn't count. Okay. Call... Well, I'm touching my cheese curd anyway. Don't worry about it. I <laughs> wish I was dead. <laughs> well, even Hunger Games. Hunger Games was way fucking popular back like when it first came out. Yeah, it was really yeah. popular. There was okay. There was the host. There was Hunger Games, and there was fucking Divergent. Divergent, Divergent. Thank you, Jesus. I was trying to think. I kept on wanting to say Dauntless, but that was just one of like the things you could be. And like I'll those like the were not popper. the great movies. Like I, I think they're know. all pretty great. The first Hunger Games was pretty good. They just yeah. dragged it out way the first, too long. The first one was, for that one. Yeah, the first one was good. Everything after the that was like, ah. Uh, mm. mm. I don't know. I I wasn't like the second blown one was away. Good. Yeah, I was I never. I was never too. blown away by those movies. Did um, you watch them when you were little? It's probably because you haven't watched them when you were little. No, no, I watched them when they came out. Oh, yeah, I watched all of them when they came out. My my, I thought for sure I'd really like Divergent, but it was it was way more so for my sister than it was for me, honestly. Wow, just poor taste. Not poor taste. I have exquisite I taste. Divergent. I don't see. I don't get how you can be saying this. How can when you love the your ending friend of Divergent? Has the whole ass tattoo, and and the book series is really good, and I and I and I one hundred percent approve of his tattoos. His tattoos look sick as shit. Did you read the series? No, heck, I think Tyler did, and he told me that it was like way better than the movies. Hmm. Yeah, his his hmm. tattoos are like really cool though. Um. Uh, okay, I have to ask, why the fuck do you want to talk about cryptocurrency? It's a topic. <laughs> like, how what? so? T t tell me what you're going to say. I don't know. I just I just checked my portfolio, and I just got, like, a thousand bucks, so. <laughs> what? I thought it was, like, worth noting. Yeah, that's kind of a fucking achievement. Jeez. <laughs> Well, Holy like, hell. we do. When I initially invested, I I think I had, like, 1200 or so. And then it dipped down for, like, the past, like, five months. It's been hovering around 600 in, like, my equity portfolio. And then just today, right now, it just went up another 100, actually. Since, like, 20 minutes ago when I checked it. But now it's at 1640. And Good lord. Gotta say, I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, good for you. I thought, I thought uh, crypto is like a decent topic to talk about on a podcast because, like, I, I don't know. Do you think like crypto could be like the future of currency? Yeah, yeah. I, I have nothing invested and know nothing about it, and I'm too scared to learn. Well, like, I'm just curious, like, if you think like crypto could be like the future of our world's currency. You know? I don't fucking know. I don't even know how it works. Like, how it's, would that be our future? Like, 
I, I like, don't understand. Of, I really don't get it. I mean, I I don't think that like we're gonna abandon physical monetary systems anytime soon. But like eventually, I think like just how like how you use your phone to pay, it would be like that, but like with crypto. And like I remember, there was I a show that I watched on Netflix really that was like all it. about cryptocurrencies and like the goal of this one person was to make a universal like worldwide cryptocurrency for anyone to use so like there's no like different like um there's no difference in like huff value US or like yeah yeah like how like our well, dollars it has to be based dollar. off of a value though you know what i mean like it has to yeah, be based off of still. one of those currencies still yeah i forget how they explained that part but um the whole thing was to like make it accessible to like anyone that has a phone to like help people that are like in debt or like lower income and like thing it's just supposed to like help oh, out to send those all guys. the lower people but yeah i think Probably like gotta, cryptocurrency we could just be... send them to korea what so what? apparently we just send those guys to korea make them play the games play the yeah. games <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought you meant North Korea to get like fucking. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no! I'm not that much of a. No, they have a chance to live in the Squid Games. Right. <laughs> I thought multiple people would win after the Squid Game, but it just turns out I just one see. person. That's interesting. That, did they not disclaim that before everyone joined? No, they Not didn't really. say anything before everyone joined. Oh, well. just they saying, were just saying, like, you if you can beat these debt? games, you would win this money. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't oh, to, like, wow. only one of you would survive. How fucking bad... Like, they signed up for this, right? Yeah, but they didn't know it would be something like death-defying, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. And you can't, like, leave, because otherwise they just kill you, I'm assuming. Well, the first episode, they would they gave you an option to leave. Like, if everyone wants to rule out leaving, they could. And they did leave. But the people who want to get back in the money, they came back. And yeah, How majority came back, then debt. they would start the games up. How fucking well, the, the far main, in debt do you have to be? Holy shit. Um, they were, there was, like, some little subplot going on about organ harvesting. Like, if uh, you were able to... If you weren't able to like pay your debt, then you would steal your kidney or something. And while in the game, when people die, the workers would make like an underground uh, organ harvesting thing with the doctor in the game, mm -hmm. and they would Shit. just harvest organs. Goddamn! But people Weird. were like billions in debt. Billions. Yeah. Billions of like one, whatever. One. The oh, that's money is yeah. That's one. a totally different translation. It's like five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, I just wanted the candy bar. Oh. So a billion won would be 840,300. That's, That's a fucking count. large sum. <laughs> That's a good yeah. How the fuck do you get that far in life with that much debt anyway? Holy shit. Well, you think you're fucking dead. Who in the fuck would approve you? It, loan sharks? Dead, yeah, for like loan sharks. Loan sharks. Like people that uh, gamble. Like the main guy gambled embedded on like horses. And mm. so would borrow money to bet on horses. And lose it. And you can just cycle debt. Goddamn. Oh. Wow. I like how we went from crypto back to Squid Game. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just relevant. Uh, may may maybe it's worth watching. It connected. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you guys know about the uh, Instagram outage that had happened the other day? Yeah. I was, was at like, work when it happened. Yeah. It was like Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. And Twitter. Twitter as well. No, right? not Twitter. Not I think Twitter, Twitter was chilling. Yeah. yeah. It had something Facebook. to do with like a whistle. Oh, I think something. it was Snapchat. Snapchat, Insta, and Facebook. Really? I think so. Well, it has to be whatever Facebook owns, and that's why I thought it might be Twitter. 
Um, yeah, so basically, uh, that all happened because a whistleblower, uh, had called out the company on, like, actually selling information when Mark Zuckerberg literally just said, uh, in court that they don't do that. Mm -hmm. The whistleblower found, uh, evidence that they do, and so they took down all the sites and deleted all that shit so that no one can actually find it by the time they're prosecuted. Allegedly. Wow. Allegedly. Is it like Allegedly. anyone surprised that they were doing that? I'm, I'm pretty sure she strong. was just clarifying it. She was saying like, yeah, yeah, they do that. Yeah, for sure. Like, does anyone really trust Mark Zuckerberg? He looks like a fucking snake. Yeah. He looks like a fucking <laughs> snake, bro. He does. He looks like he's dying. He's like a troglodyte. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like he like he can't like drink water because his cup shakes too much. Because he doesn't have, like, enough iron to, like, fucking move. What the Disintegrates fuck? his organs. <laughs> yeah, it fucking <laughs> breaks his wrist when he picks up anything. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, yeah, that, that was literally it on the Instagram outage. <laughs> as, a, as a... This um, post I had seen of um, some conference between a lawyer of a sort and someone that works at, like, Facebook... And um, they're like, oh, will you dedicate um, putting an end to Finsta? And then oh, the I saw that. Like, Cringing um, the whole fucking time. Yeah, like Finsta isn't like something that we've created. It's just a word, you know. Like the dude could not right. comprehend the fact that it was just like a slang term for yeah. like a Where, just what is hello, it? A, a second account type thing, you know. Uh -huh. We're Wait, so wrong happened? with fences anyway. It's just fake accounts. Yeah, it's just like oh, okay. smaller, smaller. No, they're not accounts. fake accounts. They're like people's like spam accounts. Yeah, uh, for what yeah. they do for uh, like, like close they only friends. do for close friends. Yeah. Okay. You and the guy was like, "Can you dedicate and promise that you will put an end to the Finsta?" The Finsta. <laughs> what? And the lady's like, "Dude, we don't, we don't make those. It's it's the users thing." We just yeah. made like certain things to make it easier, like having like private stories or whatever, like right. requests to follow, kind of shit like that. And he's like, still not absorbing that it's not them making fence does. It's cringe. Steals are probably oh, her. Cringing the whole fucking time. Cringe pilled. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's fucking weird. I would. I'd never give a shit. Like, if you don't like it, just like don't follow it. I don't get it. Yeah, like, I was like, just I telling. It's their only option. Yeah, I, was I don't just get why he was so upset about Finsta's though. I have no yeah, idea. That's a weird thing to be upset about. That's like walking into like a completely clean, like, uh, worry-free game where there's like no hackers or anything like that, and then reporting hackers. <laughs> Same thing, yeah. It does sense. Um, what did I want to fucking um? Uh, fuck. Uh, I was just talking to Kelly about uh Twitter actually. Uh, what do you guys use Twitter for? Like, do you guys use it to keep up with friends? I use it keep for up porn. with. Ah, I see. never use it. I don't even got it. Yep. I use it strictly for porn, and I'm learning every single day that there are male only fans content creators. Mm -hmm. And I think they post their something... porn on Twitter? Yes, 100%. Yeah, a lot of people. And all the fucking really? time. There's... Yeah, so if you go on like TikTok and stuff like that. There's like hardly any guidelines. Like... Yeah. There's... Yes, nothing. Um, if you go on TikTok and you see like. Uh... Uh, con a content creator for OnlyFans or fans or whatever the fuck. Chances are they have a pornographic Twitter too. So, is it that's like how, a that's how I like find a private mine. account? No, no, just straight up open. Yeah, it's yeah. just porn on straight Twitter, dude. Open. What the fuck? But it's not like nope. all the content that they put on their OnlyFans. It's just like small. Pieces. Like, oh, if you want to see more of this, go to my OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're teasers. But it's definitely a lot. It's kind of like teasers. There's actual yeah. stuff on there, though. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Some some people like strictly use Twitter just for like cloud, I guess. 
<laughs> Again, what's to stop them from like actually posting like a full video? Nothing, right? Um, on Twitter? Nothing, no. Uh, no, actually, I no. I don't know if you can. I mean, I've seen like a lot of videos where like people are given some crazy gawk, and videos where people are fucking. But like, I don't think. <laughs> I think there's like a. I, I don't know if there's like serious like guidelines to either how long or what you're showing of the sex. I don't know. Actually, no. I've seen some like pretty full length like previews and stuff yeah. like that. I'm pretty sure yeah. like there's no there's no god on Twitter. <laughs> that's why i don't use it it seems like a fucking pit or something you know no so it's like it's everyone's only, angry it's only no yeah, it's, it's like only a Tumblr, pit if you're a part but of it less... it's only a pit if you're a part of the just uh, gays you know yeah like tumblr was majority lgbt you know and twitter mm-hmm. was just more straight so. just like follow the people you like and if you see something you don't like block it like it doesn't have to be fucking. It's not rocket it's not science. Everything be. Yeah, it's but like, like Twitter, track, uh... Twitter, it's like easier for you to discover like all the shitheads. Mm. So like, like yeah, I'm, I'm, I told you guys, I'm strictly using Twitter for like porn and shit like that. But I still like see all these like really negative comments and shit sometimes. I'm like, all right, you're blocked. Like, I the only person I think I follow on Twitter is Joji. Valid. Wow. That's How right. often in the comments do you see the word sauce? Oh, I see that shit on uh, on TikTok all the time. <laughs> Dude. And I look it up. I, yeah. I, TikTok is a great app. <laughs> I supplied the sauce. I supplied the fucking sauce, dude. Uh, I, I, like I think... Huh? Sorry, continue. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna make a, a segue. Uh, so, in case you had something else to say about it, go ahead. I want to know what you're gonna say. Um, I was gonna um, say, I think it's dumb that we have all these apps that do the same exact shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes and no. Like Instagram See, like... and Twitter have a lot of fucking similarities, except like. I like Instagram I setup for Twitter's discovery not all page about a lot pictures. more. Yeah, I like I like Instagram's discovery page a yeah. lot more than Twitter's. Uh, mm-hmm. Twitter's like literally for either fighting people or watching porn. That's, that's I yeah. don't even think there's an if and or but about it. Like you can keep up with your favorite people on Instagram just fine, I think. But none of it's really original. Like Instagram steals a lot from like either TikTok oh, yeah. or. Oh yeah, especially I mean, Snapchat. Reels, Snapchat's fucking yeah. dead. Yeah. Um, it's like McDonald's. Like McDonald's tries to mimic like a bunch of fucking shit, like a chicken right. sandwich. When like they were trying to compete with fucking a uh, Chick Fil A, that's like they replaced yeah. all their chicken sandwiches with like a Chick Fil A sandwich with also like an Popeyes and KFC. Chicken. Yeah. It's like if if everyone was like eating shit, they would sell shit. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of speaking of chicken though this, this is, i have a new segue now actually so uh coming soon i'm hopefully gonna be able to do a chicken sandwich tier list from a bunch of different restaurants Let's see how that mukbang? goes chicken sandwich mukbang kind of kind of like a mukbang yeah but uh, you know i'm just i'm just trying them all out seeing how it's like i'm gonna get some second opinions from the uh, girlfriend of course she has mm-hmm. good opinions on chicken sandwiches mm-hmm. Are you guys going to do the Lady and the Tramp thing with a chicken sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> like, roll the sandwich on the table over to her? <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. Tap it with my nose. Scoot the pickles over with your nose. Yes. <laughs> uh, shit, mon cherry. <laughs> you kind of have to go in all the same area. Like, in one specific area that has all those sandwiches, right? Yeah, I think Temecula has. I think Temecula has all of them. I might be missing one. I know. So as I've seen, Chick Fil A obviously. Chick Fil A, Burger King actually has a new one, which looks actually good, and I'm a little Mm. bit shocked about that. Uh, Surprisingly enough, Taco Bell has a chicken sandwich. I was just about to say Taco Bell. I tried it the other day. 
Yeah, it's not so even a got, chicken sandwich. It's like it's like a chicken a taco, taco tortilla. Oh, it's oh like yeah, a, it's in like that flatbread. like that soft bun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a flatbread bun thing. Yeah, it's, it's like a gyro or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's like that kind of. There's a yeah. Fucking... I remember like the advertisement. She was like, "Dude, it's a burger." It's like, "No, dude, it's a taco, man." You saw those ads? Join the debates. You choose. <laughs> yeah, you choose your team. What is it? We don't know. We only made it. <laughs> it literally it's like looks like you grabbed right like. Twigs. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It literally looks like they just grabbed like a chicken tender and then like put it in one uh, piece they of bread. They just slapped the then, shit like, together and just like the that. bread. That works. Like clamped, like clamped the bread. That's it. Stapled it. <laughs> Stapled it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I tried the spicy one the other day. It's not bad. Oh. We'll see now. It's gonna, it's good. gonna be in, it's gonna be in the tier list. Um, yeah. So Chick Fil A, Canes, Taco Bell, Burger King, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, uh, Carl's Jr., Popeyes, KFC. Do they have one? KFC does have one, and it kind of looks good, but I'm a little bit nervous. I tried it. It's pretty good, but it's kind of sweet. I don't like how sweet it is. Gotcha. Yeah, so coming soon, hopefully I'll be able to do that uh, for a tier list video. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah. Exciting. Canes, though? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, canes would probably well, be yeah, good. You yeah, have, you have to compare. Uh, it's just their chicken tenders is. on the bread sandwich. No. Yeah. yeah. It's not an actual chicken patty. You still have to compare it. Okay. I mean, the fucking Taco Bell chicken sandwich, as we just said, yeah. is a fucking For nugget in yeah, a piece of bread. Tender, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wow. Who likes to I pee mean, in the I shower? Mean, yeah. Thank you, Kelly. You <laughs> uh, I was trying to figure out how the fuck to segue that. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Enough God, sandwiches. No. Let's get down to the business. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the meat. real shit. Yeah, we're really nice. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I'll I'll go first on this situation. Anyone who pisses in the shower deserves to like jail time. Like fuck you guys. That's nasty. Kelly, Lock you me away. Lock me away. <laughs> I pee in my fucking shower. You know what? I was gonna just, but now, okay. I pee in the shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. I pee in the shower. Mess. Oh my god. The fucking. <laughs> I, don't make me the fucking weirdo for not pissing in the shower. I don't fucking well, obviously get it. Obviously, it's not after I've washed my entire body, you know? That I can clean myself properly after. Yeah, I think it's um, it's a little more weird when it's girls, but with your when you're a guy, you could just aim straight at the drain, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might get I mean, a little yeah. TMI, but... Yeah. Like, if uh, you have morning wood, right... And it's right. like, you can't just like bend that shit down the fucking toilet bowl. You get a whole ass like shoot, like, you know, like you can just shoot so this, like, a wide open so you're spot telling in the tub. Me, Dude, so you're telling me your morning your routine? So you're telling me your morning routine is wake up, get out of bed, get in the shower, piss, brush your teeth? <laughs> if I have to take a shower, like, say I have to go to work tomorrow, right? And then, right. like, it, it's hard. Like, I would pee in there. Rinse it off and then get in there and shower. So you piss, so, get well, out, and wow. then get in. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. I don't know mm. about all that. No, no, it's like the water's running yeah. right, and then you like pee okay. in it, and then you let it all get out, and then you go in. Okay, I thought you were saying like oh. with a dry ass. Oh no! Not turned on shower. You just use it as a fucking toilet. <laughs> yeah, I was like, about to say no, <laughs> Ew, no. Oh, fuck it's fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys deserve jail time. That shit's nasty. How I can you like, not do it? Aim at the drain. Why baby. don't I do it? Because I don't like that's like pissing in a pool to me. That shit's nasty. You don't piss in the pool? You got What the fuck is man. wrong with you? They got acid to dilute all that pee. You're good. Oh Dude, when I'm at the water park in the wave pool and I take a pic, <laughs> and then like right next to me I see a little kid going to water, I 
I get a little <laughs> smile on my face. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so that's actual like a, that's actually like an offense. Yeah, I'm not going to a water park for that fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the world burn, all right? Yeah, yeah Ke <laughs> Kelly, Kelly was that kid. You didn't yeah. even know it. <laughs> I was. I was a snot nosed little kid. I was pissing. I was straight pissing. <laughs> that, kid, that kid was smiling because that's exactly what he wanted. And now he's oh. a pissing, so. <laughs> God damn it. You saw dude. that South that's Park episode? A... Like. If they went to a water park and everyone's just peeing in the fucking pool and everyone just like just became straight piss. What the? The pool just was like straight up piss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I this guy. I what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, you know what? That actually reminds me of another fucking topic. So we all have uh, a partner in crime. Um, do you ever shit in front of them? No. No. Mm -mm. Thank God, thank fucking God. Not even Will you, you, Kelly, even you guys have been together for like. I don't even fart in front of well, them yet. No, we give ourselves like a lot of privacy when it comes down to that. Okay. Yeah. I actually like, got I a think funny it's story like... about this. <laughs> <laughs> fucking back when me and Helen were together, we got an Airbnb, and like for whatever fucking reason, I think she saw it on like Instagram or something. She wanted to sit on my lap while I was taking a shit. <laughs> What oh, the that's like the yeah. fucking um, when he lets me aim for him right <laughs> <laughs> or like when when she has to pee and then she's like sitting on the toilet and she spreads her legs and then he pees between my legs you know oh my fucking god girl what so like good, good, like, good soup touched oh my god <laughs> good soup <laughs> fuck <laughs> Oh, I have never gosh. heard that before. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It, it all like now. correlates. It all correlates. Like it's none of it is fuck it's it's all fucking bad to me. It, it all all of it to me is the nastiest shit, I swear to god. Have you guys ever been peed on? What the what? fuck? Um, oh, Kelly, you no. weren't here when I told the story on the other podcast episode. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you, right. You ever to that episode? the piss, baby. Fuck off! He basically <laughs> reminded us, so it's your fault. Yeah, that, I know, your fault. but that doesn't mean you can call you the piss, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll oh. tell it really quick for Kelly. All right, so... Okay. Um, Sam came over one night and, um, I don't remember why, but I was drinking, I drank like a lot really fast and it was vodka serious. and vodka fucks me. Like we have a really weird relationship, but then, so, um, what was it? i I like knocked out. I fell asleep and we were both sleeping in my bed and I start sleepwalking. I stand up and I like walk to like the foot of my bed and I start peeing on the corner of it. <laughs> Like, on the actual <laughs> bed. Like, not the side of it. Like, oh, on, no. like directly on the bed. And, like, I'm just... I'm dead asleep this whole time. And then I wake up to Sam yelling at me. She's like, baby, what are you doing? <laughs> wake up! What are you doing? And I'm... I wake up and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? And then, like, I have, I have a gift. I can stop myself, like, midstream while I'm peeing. So Ouch. I do that. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I'm like, I'm like still drunk and I'm like cleaning up and like taking my sheets off. And then I'm like, oh, it was so fucking embarrassing. I'm so shocked you oh just gosh. send Sam home. Like, I, I, I can't remember. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. She was so nice about it though. She was really comforting me. Does she make fun of you? No. Yeah, she now? ever like, yeah, she hasn't talked about it at all. No, it's, it's never. Like, hey, remember that time you almost pissed on me? I feel like yeah, maybe we should try that again. Know. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it was really warm and it was a chilly night. <laughs> it was very comforting, really. <laughs> it's like sitting next to a fire and cuddling. Yeah. Except you were pissing on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Which like I... getting splashed with warm water. It's like it's gonna get cold real fast. Oh my gosh! I mean, they, think about it this way. Though. Think about it this way. It's a it's a weird, 
it was a weird situation, but at least you slept walked if you think about it, right? Because if yeah. you just regular pissed, that definitely would have hit her. That definitely would have like that. Definitely, she definitely would have been sitting in your stew had you just sat in bed and pissed. <laughs> oh yeah, if I was oh, just true. If I just like straight up peed the bed, yeah, that would. You were given like your subconscious pass, said to walk sleep. away at least like three feet and then piss. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was such a weird situation. Why the fuck <laughs> would I do that? I wasn't even like dreaming I was peeing or anything. I just, I guess I thought I walked to the bathroom. Yeah. Fucking weird. <laughs> but other than that, no, I have never been peed on or peed on anyone. Damn. Yep. You guys are pee virgins. <laughs> are you? Are, are, you, you, are not? you not? Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Episode um, seven, come listen. Elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so Jeremy and I, we were in a mm. hotel and we were like getting kind of freaky. And Ooh. uh he's just like, I really have to pee. And it's like, we'll just pee in the shower. He's like, No, I don't want to do that. I'm like, I'm thinking like, well, <laughs> you're like, well, what do you see, mean? Let me think for the <laughs> Because I was kind of getting in the mood. I was like, you know what? I want to see how it feels. He fucking did it. And I was like, great. And I got pee on me. <laughs> as one should, as one so should funny. react. As one should <laughs> react. I got yeah. pee on me. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, no, I thought it'd be hot. Like, with someone jizz on you, I'm just like, well, let me think if it's like, if it's like as hot. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Wait, There's why, a big difference. Why'd you suggest to pee in the shower? Do you guys not have a toilet? <laughs> like, no, we were the in the shower. What the fuck is up in your toilet? Oh, we were in the shower. Oh, yeah, we were both okay, in the shower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah. Did, where did he do it? Like, was it like, like on your uh, stomach? Don't tell like, me your face. Don't tell me your face. No, 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 no. Um, I was just like kneeling down, like with my like, like back kind of arched and he just did it on my chest oh okay that must have been interesting that must have been really interesting did you guys did you guys continue doing anything after that or is it like it stopped yeah right there? no we we finished helping each other out uh... <laughs> way to word that <laughs> yeah like you can't really do much else except like anal sex but that's like a lot of prep work so you gotta like Right. Suck and jerk off or something. I love you, Keller. Do you think he would be down for you to pee on him? Um, Ooh, big question. It's not the weirdest he thing he's bottom, interested in. Right? Yeah, like... Actually, I think he did men bring it up once, but I'm like, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't want right. to put you through that, baby. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what, you don't know what my... my uh... Dick's PSI. <laughs> I'll cut a I'll oh. cut a hole through your gun. I got a fire. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the movie uh, Ant Boy. Have you ever seen Ant Boy? Where That's they, like, a really old movie. Is that right? the... Yeah, it's like this weird foreign film, and this kid like when he pees on this chain lock, it fucking melts. What the <laughs> what fuck? The f Fuck! Is that Ant Boy or Ant Bully? Because I don't remember boy. that Ant Bully. <laughs> mm -mm. He's like a yeah, kid with remember. like ant powers and ants make fuck? acidic pee. I guess I don't know. But <laughs> fucking sick. Some weird fact. You learn something new every day. Like my cousin's had it on disc for pee. some reason. Is <laughs> jerking off to him. That's sick. <laughs> Oh, shit. Um, oh, it was it was a live action. I thought you were talking about an animated movie. Mm -mm, it was live action. This, this looks weird. There's a yeah. three. There's an Ant Boy one, two, and three. I think I remember seeing like snippets of these of these movies, but never like actually owned them. This kid looks like a twerp. Tight. Oh my! He looks honestly. He looks dumb as fuck with that mask. His on. small little mouth and his buck ass teeth. Yeah. And his buck ass teeth. Um, I don't know how in the fuck 
You know what? I, I got I got you. I got you. I got you. Aunt boy, how about when we were boys and girl? How how how, how about that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, how, you don't segue. have to do like a now. I want to do segues. I like to because I don't like being like, oh, the next topic is very okay. uniform. Yeah, I don't like when you do that either. But well, can... figure it out. Tell me what you do you like. Figure it out. Better better. Okay. Fuck. Uh, All right. So. Honk. We'll uh-huh. we'll segue that. Okay, so weird childhood things. Um, I remember you saying some. Oh, the Michael Jackson thing that you told. Us. Yeah, that's actually what I was gonna bring up. <laughs> yeah, that's like I can't the, remember if I said like, that type on the of stuff. Yeah. No, I don't yeah. think so. I think you just said it in, in chat or something. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and tell that story. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay. Um, yeah. So. When I was in, like, third grade or so, like, right when I got to my new school, actually, uh, all the kids would, like, have these nursery rhymes of, like, Michael Jackson, like, kidnapping kids or some shit like that. Kids were dark as shit, like, <laughs> oh my uh, God. like, like, fucking, um, the Barney ones, like, cutting off his head, like, frying it oh, in the right. fireplace, shit like that. Oh, it was, it was, it was oh, fucking, yeah. yeah, I forgot how it went, but, yeah, there was, like, nursery rhymes on both of these things. And so there's like there's a legend of Michael Jackson, this fucking kid thief, and that just made me be like, oh well, Barney's not real, so Michael Jackson's not real. That's a weird name for something that's not real, though. <laughs> they're connected. <laughs> so, they're the same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so my mom was listening to uh, the Jackson Five. She's listening to ABC. I was like, "Oh, I love this song. Who who sings this, Mom?" She's like, "Oh, it's Michael Jackson." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> what? Like, are you shitting my dick right now? <laughs> are you shitting my dick? <laughs> Yeah, no, I was like, Michael Jackson's real? So it's like, the fuck do you mean? Yeah, he's real. <laughs> so you must have freaked out when you found out that he died, right? Oh, fr- <laughs> no, when I found out he died, I was that like, a party. Ah, that's uh, one less, really that's one less thing to worry over. about. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Unless he comes to fucking haunt you. <laughs> you start really seeing him outside your window. You're just ignorant. You're just being ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's my uh i mean i can tell another one too um this is kind of for like the uh i guess it could be for both so there's so the little symbol not symbol but like the little motion you make with your hands like the docking uh uh motion with your fingers uh, you docking. just make like a like you make like a little circle uh like, like the uh, okay like the okay circle with one hand and then just like stick a finger through it the other finger through it right like you're fucking or something like that oh i yeah. thought i thought that was i thought that that was an insult um i don't know why i thought it was an insult i literally can't remember but i remember like thinking i was so smart for knowing that it was an insult like the whole like two hands under the chin thing being like a fuck off um oh, i thought it was like an insult like a equivalent to the fucking middle finger I feel like and I thought the I, same thing. And I remember, like, this one snooty bitch at school was, like, bullying my friend. And I was just like, oh, yeah? And then I just start doing it, like, vigorously, like, super <laughs> fucking fast. I was like, the faster you do it, the more insulting it is. <laughs> and the, and oh, the fucking and the yard duty came over. She's like, Miles, what are you doing? God. I was just like, um, yeah. <laughs> ah, what the fuck, man? And then I, she's just, just so like, Don't vigorously. Do that. Yeah. Uh, that was my childhood bullshit. I have oh, to take a piss. Yeah. You guys continue this amongst yourselves. One sec. Okay. Uh, I'll go next. Um, so when I was a kid, um, not even a kid, this is like middle school. I think, I don't know if you guys ever heard, like, the same thing. This Mm -hmm. one's going to be short. It's not, like, a long-ass story like his. But, like, I, people told me that, like, if you have dimples, 
it's because your parents had sex while you were a baby and like still in the womb <laughs> and, and it's like, like oh. from like yeah like the dick like poked and like imprinted on your fucking oh cheeks my goodness. <laughs> and like i'm pretty sure i believed it for a good minute <laughs> like remember- recently no, that that was like middle school. Middle school? I think so. How yeah, like seventh cool. grade. I don't. I don't fucking know, man. All right, and I remember. I know, like now, girl, now, but yeah, now, obviously, it's fucking yeah. bullshit. But there was this one girl that had the biggest, like, deepest dimples on You're her. You're like, face. damn. Like her dad had a deep, big. Like yo, this guy. <laughs> packing. He packing. He's got that magnum. Dog. She dented. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's all there is to that one. Do you guys have anything? I have a couple. Alyssa, do you have any? Oh, I you can go ahead. Me? Yeah. Hmm. Um. All right, I have a couple. Um, like if every day in kindergarten, I would always say that I wasn't feeling good or feeling sick. And, uh, the, I don't know, like, uh, I called them, uh, aides. Uh, they're just like the ladies watching over the playground, making sure everyone's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. all throughout elementary and then up to middle school, which is a whole different school. They had it out for me. Um, the aides? This this is fucking student aides. They would always take uh, the the girl's um, word over mine. This girl, she um, she was swinging a fucking hoodie at me like a zip up hoodie, and one of the metal pieces hit my fucking eye, and I was furiously, and I was like crying Ooh. too. So I was like, "Get the fuck over here! I'm kicking your ass!" And the student <laughs> aide was like, "No, you can't hit girls." I'm like, "Why?" She hit me with this, and she wouldn't even let me fucking finish. And I was just like sitting in the fucking uh, on this like uh, what you call it? Uh, I can't think of the word right now. It's like a chair. In the office or the it's like a the time. It's like chair? a it's sort of like a timeout chair. It's just like the chairs uh, lining the playground. And I was sitting in there crying because I was like I wanted to cover up my face with a jacket, like crying underneath the. Hmm. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah. And oh, that same girl, bastards. The same girl. I think she was like a grade younger than me. She got all of her friends, and she pinned me against the wall and started fucking kicking me. What, what the fuck? fuck? Yeah. What and kind of school did you? Holy shit! You got it was... jumped by some bitches. I thought it was like a joke, <laughs> like it was funny, but she was actually fucking kicking me, and I was like, "What the hell?" So I kicked her back, and then she was like going even harder, and then the bell rang, and I was like. I'm going to sit in the fucking courtyard and just wait till someone fucking picks me up and like, I'll tell them everything. And no one came. So I was like, I'll just go to the office and say something. And I told the front desk lady. Oh, and she was like, okay, but it was just like a girl. Like it probably wouldn't hurt that much. And she sent me back to the fucking class. I was hoping to get, uh, leave home early, but you're fucking me. (laughs) What? Uh, I wonder if her, really like, nothing happened to that girl. a reason that you're gay. Uh, no, I was a bit, I was a bit kind <laughs> of faggy. Oh, maybe that's why school. he was getting bullied. It wasn't that. I think the little girl had a crush on me. Maybe. Um, right. oh, so she so really wanted like guy. Let me ass. kick him in the fucking gut. What the I don't hell? know what the reason for was that, but she had a lot of anger issues at home and her brother who was a migrate was like you better not get my sister in trouble she's gonna be in a lot of trouble lately and like she was fucking kicking me what the hell do you want me to do yeah what the fuck she's been getting in a lot of trouble for her own fucking fault the hell kind of deserved it (laughs) yeah but as a little kid i was a really like kind of faggy (laughs) (laughs) um i really liked katana for mortal kombat so I was like, oh, oh I like the fans. Like, I love the fucking fans. So I brought a fan to school, and I kept on playing with it. And, like, kind of like the oh, really high-pitched gay boy was like, are you gay or something? I'm like, what? And then I was like, the, I better the high p- fan. The <laughs> high- Shit. Yeah, this like, is the what gay- me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta stop. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Not like this. Like, <laughs> 
I just love how you classified him the high pitched gay kid. Yeah, like type. if you if you had to yeah. point out a gay kid, it'd be him. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'd say that's fucking funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. I think it's it's crazy. We went from talking about how like. I used to think that dimples meant your parents had sex when you were a baby, and you just oh, yeah. you transitioned <laughs> to a, a bullying story. Oh, it wasn't bad. Like I was really sad right there because I, I was mean, like, "It sounds kind of bad." Girls pinned you against the wall and kicked the shit out of you. I mean, it was I like a couple of like guys. I think her guy friends. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't like a bunch of like girls doing it. Oh, the girl was kicking me. The one that was being a cunt, but her oh. friends were pinning me. So I like rolled your eyes mm. in the back of your head, so it's like speaking in reverse. See how many <laughs> of them would have like stuck around. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck that. I want to strangle the shit out of her. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck scaring her. I want to fucking teach her. A I want to fucking yeah. kill her. <laughs> well, yeah. if I was yeah, that I age, beef. not now, but. <laughs> Yeah, we still got beef, bitch. You remember this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alyssa, I want to ask you, mm. like, an, a, a kid thing that you would do, but I feel like only your mother would be able to answer that, because every time we ask you, like, embarrassing moments, you're like, I don't have any. Oh, because I can't think of them on the spot, but I'm sure she could think of, like, a million embarrassing stories. Oh, yeah. I was a shitty kid, 100%. <laughs> Still are. I definitely <laughs> played with, like, dolls until 8th grade. What? That's, you not, know? that's not bad. That's not bad. I played with, like, Definitely abnormal, though. It's not abnormal, I don't think. I mean, I feel like you, you toss out... started to in 8th grade? What was that? No. You no. You started she... to? No. Like, that's when, like, I about stopped. Playing with oh. them. Mm. That's not that bad. I mean, do you think you're fucking 13 yeah. years old? That's not horrible. True, compared to like everybody now on their phones. Yeah, oh, yeah, every the single children. fucking kid's on their phone. They don't even, <laughs> like, they ditch through toys so fast once they see a screen. That's what it is. What, like, when I was in middle school. Yeah, shit. <laughs> All these kids on Twitter just looking up porn. Fuck. I remember, you know what, I, I have another story. I remember discovering the ability to jerk off. Oh, God. Oh, the power. <laughs> Dude, I remember no, the no, first time I ever heard the words jerk off. I had no idea what it meant. Yep. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like, I didn't start until, like, when I was 13. Everyone was doing it when they were, like, 10 or something. I was like, what oh, is geez. this? I don't understand. I was like Pollyanna. I didn't fucking understand what it was. <laughs> so the first time you did it, like you actually nutted? No, I was just like playing with it. I was like kept like beating it. I was like, I don't want to go any further. I better stop. And then the next day, I was like, I'm gonna see how far I can fucking take it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it went like my first. I was like, what the fuck? And I was just like sitting there, like, uh. What? Is it supposed to do that? Because, <laughs> like, no one fucking, like, taught me or showed me. Like, not, you shouldn't, but no one, like, my friends were talking about it. But, but yeah. Yeah, that mm. was the same thing with me. None of my friends, like, ever, like, talked about it. It was so weird. Like, I remember discovering it because I remember telling them. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I remember being like, guys, you guys gotta fucking try this. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at school in like the stall, and then the, these eighth graders in the stall next to me were talking about it, and I was like, what the fuck are they going on about? And I looked at them at home, and I was all like, oh, people will be watching this. I'm uncomfortable with that. And then the next week, obsessed. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. oh. As a fucking enthusiast, just like, yeah. oh, you're looking for this. The next week, I was like, oh, this is the one. This video. Yeah. <laughs> Top 10. Yeah. Is it okay. different for girls, like, discovering, like, masturbating when they're young? 
Yeah, I definitely did not like reach completion ever for a good few years. I didn't know what I was doing. What year did you start doing that? Because, like I said, that this was middle school, and if yeah, like girls like mature faster, grade. okay, so it was it was middle school then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think for like the first good while of me actually jerking off like it was before like i had like actually hit puberty so i wouldn't come but like it you, you still had that feeling right and i was like man this shit puberty? yeah i think I don't you know. were jerking your shit before puberty for no avail <laughs> I, don't, I think <laughs> what's the point <laughs> no you still feel like you are like finishing but like he just that nothing just feels out. like such a cuckold what <laughs> no it's still like a good feeling and then like once i actually started to you i was come like when oh, i man, tell you you can he's <laughs> <laughs> got like a ball and chain over his dick I don't... that sounds what? fucking miserable what, what the f it's just pre-puberty <laughs> masturbation bro yeah, and then like, once I the actually first... hit it, like, that. and stuff would come out, I was like, oh man, what the fuck, now it's all messy. How old like... were you? <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like I hit puberty a little late. Uh, it was like 6th grade to 7th no, that, grade. That was, that was around the time I did too, like, that's, and you couldn't uh, nut? No. That's so fucking Yeah, I think, I think I hit puberty, like... 12 late 12 early 13 yeah 12. yeah that's about that time yeah. that's fucking and weird. i like started like look like doing it when i was like 11 ish like oh. sixth grade yeah yeah <laughs> it was like it was like around the time that two girls one cup was a thing too. Uh, oh <laughs> fuck, we're not talking about that. We're not fucking. We're not even bringing that into this. I'm not bringing that I've in my fucking podcast. I've never seen the video. I've never seen it. And just like that, we don't need to. Alrighty. <laughs> no, I, I was I was gonna expand on my uh, on my pubescent uh, discovery. Um, I remember like being like guys. So like. Have you ever like done this? And they're like, oh no. And uh I was just like, so basically all I did was I like made my hand like a fucking like claw from a claw machine. And I just like kept doing that to the head. Like I was a fucking jellyfish sucking off my tip. <laughs> okay. And that's Wait, so this was back before your head was like always hidden? By your head. Before the before the got solidified and stuck in uh -huh. You're a piss, baby. There's so many details I never wanted to know. You're a piss, baby. So your head was exposed back then. That's All right, cool. ladies and gentlemen, this has been an awesome. <laughs> this has been an awesome sixth episode. I'm so glad you guys. I actually am gonna wrap it. Are we chill with that? Damn, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an awesome uh, six episode. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for coming on again. Uh, hopefully, we see you in some more in the future as well. Uh, yes. Alyssa, good for you to be back. Just so you guys know, mm -hmm. next episode, should we not hear anything on this episode, the next episode, this podcast will be named Camping Buddies, and I am excited for that. Uh, currently drawing up some new background for that kind of stuff and like i said watch out for the uh chicken sandwich tier list and some more content with these assholes um mm -hmm. but uh yeah see you guys in the next podcast and listen to the rest if you haven't already That's see ya it. later Bye.